Hey everybody, Kendra here. So I wanted to talk about something that is really, really important to me, and that is reading books and doing the exercises in the books. So as many of you know, I've written a book called 47 Simple Wellness Tips for the Body, Mind, and Soul. And in the book, I don't necessarily give exercises, but I do invite people to go do the things that are in the book. And the reason why doing is so important whenever you're reading a book, not just mine, but whenever you're reading other books with exercises in them and journaling and things like that um, with the book, right? A lot of books come with journals or things like that. It's because you need to create a new neural pathway. So imagine a neural pathway like a highway. And if we, and the more we do things, the more of an entrenched highway we have. So I guess you could think of it like a riverbed as well. And it just gets deeper and deeper, wider and wider. And the, pa the path is just always used. That's kind of how we can be driving and not even know how we got home or we get in the shower and we don't even know how we got out of the shower and we're dressed now. So we're just doing, we're on a program. The thing is though, is there's a lot of things in our lives that are on programs, but we don't really necessarily want those things to be the programming, the thing that we just always default to. We want to change it, especially if it's affecting our life in a negative way or an unpleasant way, such as trauma or um, healing attachment or the way we handle ourselves with um, in stressful situations or how we don't wanna be like our parents and we wanna do some conscious parenting. So we have these programs always running. So it's really, really important to do exercises, to continually do them, like every day, every other day, every few days, just have it part of your system and put it in your system. And then your brain is going to create a new neural pathway, a new highway, a new river. And then you can have choice especially if you learn how to regulate your nervous system, especially in these times where we're really having an unpleasant experience. And if we're already doing all of these other things to help ourselves and to help our nervous system regulate itself, then we have options. Instead of taking the default programming that isn't gonna get us anywhere, or at least somewhere where we wanna be, we can go down the path of change, something different. It's gonna feel weird, gonna feel uncomfortable and it's gonna feel like it's wrong but you know logically because you've been practicing that this isn't wrong right and then there's also things that are not necessarily something we have to use during like um, unpleasant experience but that we get to use right so instead of just mulling over that thing you said and having anxiety and worry we're using other things like oh we have a safe place imagery or oh we are going to combat those negative thoughts with other thoughts or we're going to journal so it's not necessarily like in the moment i'm not going to say this really terrible thing to this person um, or text this really terrible thing to this person because i'm triggered and i'm just going to say it these other things are like a little less intense but still really beneficial, right? It's not really some, some of these things aren't things that people are gonna ever hear. They're just what's going on inside and it's causing a lot of turmoil. And so whenever we do the exercises in the books, whenever we create coping strategies, we are helping ourselves to regulate. We're helping ourselves to open up to new experiences, which again can be overwhelming sometimes and uncomfortable but we're allowing ourselves to enter into a new range of healing, emotionally, mentally, physically, and spiritually. And so then we can get to the root causes of things. And then that helps, right? It just helps our life. It helps our life. So even though we're living a long time, we don't have to live a long time and just be suffering. We can live a long time and really enjoy our life and get to have new experiences. If you've, okay, so if you value the content I create, please like, subscribe, and share. Bye.